G'day everyone, Dominic here again from Gimbal Productions and today I'm just doing a quick video update on these Bluetooth follow focus remotes. I've already made two videos on these remotes in the past, however, people have been asking me questions regarding how to change the follow focus speed of these remotes. Up until now, it was quite a difficult process, but now it can be easily changed in a few minutes. As of right now, these instructions only work for this follow focus remote that you can see on screen. It can't be done just yet on this larger remote I've done a video on in the past as well. However, it's coming soon and I'll update my description later on when this is available. Before watching this video, please make sure you've watched the pairing instructions video I posted in the past. Also, please ensure you've downloaded the files I've linked in the description. This is UART Assist and ESP32 download tool. This will be in a zip folder. Connect your remote via USB to your computer. With that zip folder I just mentioned, you'll find the ESP32 download tool, a bin file, which is the update file necessary to perform this process, and UART Assist. Open ESP32 download tool, which is in this folder. Double click it, and then choose developer mode when this option pops up. After we've clicked this, press ESP32 download tool. This is the interface that you will see, and at the bottom you can choose your COM port. This may vary depending on your USB inputs, however in my case it is COM3. At the top, this is where we have to upload our file, the bin file that was in the previous folder. All we have to do is click the three little dots and navigate back to that bin file. This is the file necessary to perform this follow focus speed change. Click on it and then click open. Now in the bottom left, we can click sync. After that is synced, we can close out of ESP32 download tool. For these next few steps, make sure your camera is turned on and nearby. Also, make sure the camera has established a Bluetooth connection with this remote. While the remote is still plugged in, open UART Assist. This is the interface that you will see. At the top left, choose your COM port yet again. I would recommend choosing the same settings that you can see on my interface here and then clicking open. In a few short moments, you will see a list of follow focus speeds for high speed and low speed. You will see a list of numbers which correspond to a follow focus speed value. For this step, all we have to do is choose a specific number corresponding to the follow focus speed and then write these two numbers next to each other in the data send box at the bottom. Let's just say I want to choose number 9 as my high speed follow focus as well as choose number 6 for my slow speed follow focus number. At the bottom I will type 96 and then click send. This is instantly sent to my remote and because my camera is turned on at the same time I can check this speed to make sure it suits my liking. As you can see here, this is my low speed setting, but if I double click this knob, this enters into the high speed setting. This is how you can check your follow focus speeds. If it's not quite right, just edit that number once again and then click send. Once you are satisfied with the follow focus speeds, you can then quit out of the program. Just a quick note, depending on the autofocus motor that is built inside your lens, this can play a role in how smooth the focus pull can be. On some lenses it might be choppy, but on other lenses it might seem silky smooth. Play around with the settings inside UART Assist just to find the best settings for your specific lens. Hopefully this video has helped you in some way, and hopefully these remotes come in handy when you use them in your day to day filmmaking. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks.